Welcome to Field to Feast, where we profile Louisiana's local ingredients. This morning, we're at the LSU Rural Life Museum, where they're celebrating Harvest Days. We're gonna learn how they did Field to Feast in the 1800s. So y'all come join us. Field to Feast with Jennifer Finley is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. Bill, can you tell me what we have going on here today? Well, this is our Harvest Days. It's an annual event that we have where we bring out a number of artisans, um, folks who are here to show the, the folk ways and the cultural ways of the people in Louisiana in the 18th and 19th centuries. A couple of the demonstrations that we have going on today, we've got a, an outdoor kitchen where they're out there cooking and um, demonstrating the, the ways that you would have cooked over an open hearth fire. Um, we're also making our own cane syrup today. And it cooks down in a large pan, being skimmed and heated and skimmed and heated. And uh, by the end of the day, it'll cook down to the cane syrup that we love to put on our biscuits and our pancakes and put into our recipes. And um, we'll jar it up and we'll have it here at the museum. So we're talking about authentic Louisiana sugar cane. Absolutely. Uh, this, the, they just started pressing the cane uh, this last week, maybe week and a half. And so this is the first batch coming through. Oh, that's exciting mm -hmm. for us. That is very much in the nature of our show. Yeah. Nature yeah. of our show. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh -huh. um, also, I saw that you have bees, honeybees. We do. We have uh, Louisiana beekeepers coming out to talk about um, caring for bees, raising bees, um, and keeping that going. So that brings in another of the, you know, the farm to table kinds of uh, food ways and, and traditions. Bill, if you wouldn't mind, could I have you walk us just around a little bit to show us the way? Sure. Over here we have our, our syrup house and um, what we're doing is we're, they're starting to cook. Um, we'll also be cooking cracklins and some kettle corn so that folks can try that as well. Louisiana folk love their cracklins. Yes, they do. <laughs> and we found at the end of the day that um, the uh, cracklins and a little bit of the cane syrup is kind of an extra treat. Why Very in the world healthy have too. I, I, yeah, <laughs> fat free. Why have I never thought yeah. of that? Cracklin' uh -huh. in cane syrup. I think we are on to something here. There we go. So we have um, over here some timber hewing that's going on. Um, and they'll be doing actual hewing and then breaking to, uh, uh, to talk to people as they come through as well throughout the day. So you get the opportunity to see it and then also to learn about what it is that they're doing. Can you tell me what this adorable little structure is? This adorable little structure is a jail. Ah. <laughs> and, uh, well, at least they gave them a, a heater. Yes. That was nice of them. They didn't make them for, well, Lord knows you're not going to freeze in this weather. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Lucky if you even get a little breeze. What's he doing? Well, this is a forge. Um, we've got the blacksmith shop. And then we've got uh, Mr. Wright here, and he's running an outdoor forge as well. We have... Um, uh, the cabins, yes. the blacksmith shop. This over here was a, one, a double pen cabin that was converted to a school. We have one over here that was used for the sick house, kind of like the plantation hospital. It's straight out of Little House in the Prairie. <laughs> yep. And the history that we have and the history that we're able to share when folks come through is just really a fantastic uh, experience. Bill, I heard you have a kitchen here. We do. We have a, a, a historic kitchen that would have been outside the home. It's an open hearth and we actually have some uh, folks over there that are doing a little bit of cooking. Would you like to come see? Would love to do that. So okay. stay with us. We're going to head to the kitchen next. kitchen and they'll be cooking inside here um, on the on the hearth. And so you've got a fresh garden going. Mm -hmm. This is the kitchen garden and you remember I was telling you about all of our wonderful volunteers that we have. We have one in particular, Miss Kathleen, that spends a lot of time out here making sure that this garden is 
um, growing the types of, uh, of vegetables and herbs that would have been used um, on, a, on a plantation like this. It's not just having a garden, it's having a garden from this time period. So this yes, is very that's authentic what, experience. That's what, that's what we are going for. So that's the, the idea. You're eating what's here and you're eating what's off of the land that you're in. Right. So um, between this, between the chickens that you may be raising, um, if you have maybe beef or maybe some hogs, but you know, the, the cane and the syrup and the sugar that comes from that, then um, you know, that's all what goes in and that makes your regular diet and it moves throughout the year. It changes depending on what's in right. season. So. Fresh, local, Louisiana ingredients. Yes. Tell me about your sunflowers. Well, the sunflowers is a, a program that the Ag Center um, grows and they put those up so that uh, largely for entertainment purposes for so folks can come out and do their pictures people love it they'll run um, three or four different uh, growings each year and um, it just it really adds to the uh, my enjoyment of driving out here every day you know honestly take a left at the sunflowers <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah me hi how are you Thank you, we love kitchens. Oh, an open hearth fire. Absolutely, we, are, we started our fire a little before eight so that we could get the coals ready uh, to actually be cooking on. We've done some bacon for breakfast and we've got the sausage over the crane just kind of slowly smoking. We've put um, a squirrel here in our tin kitchen reflective oven and it'll just bake over the day, over the course of the day from the reflective heat. Um, and then we're getting ready to start our pimpadu, which is lost bread or fridge toast, what we would call fridge toast. Wonderful. I have actually tried squirrel brains. They were a delicacy. Well, what was the taste, uh, texture <laughs> sensation? You know, the heart, you just want to say it was brainy. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't like the strong flavor that people think, you know, it wasn't gross. It was, it was just, it was, uh, it was a texture thing. Yeah. It's a texture I thing. It's, I can see how you could live on it, um, but at the same time, I'm glad there's options. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> We have our collection that we preserve and that we keep, and then we also have our collection that we use for teaching. And so this is one of the, this butter churn is one of the ones that we'll use for teaching. Well, Bill, this is a fantastic experience. I'm so excited that we got to come visit you today. Do you do this every year? We are, we are doing this and events like this each year. So this is Harvest Days. We'll also do one um, the first weekend in December that'll be a Rural Life Christmas which will have some of the same aspects to it, but also have more of a holiday theme to it. And then this next year, in 2020, we're gonna be celebrating our 50th anniversary of the museum. Congratulations. Thank you. So we plan on bringing a, an event like this to the spring, and so we're gonna have it in the spring as well. Well, you heard it from so. him, so make sure you come out and join them. This is a beautiful, beautiful day, and Harvest Days is going this weekend, but we've got one coming up Christmas. So thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on Field to Feast. Field to Feast with Jennifer Finley was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner.